Man, I think Donald Trump just might be the guy. He just might be the man. He just might be our guy. Donald Trump. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Parody Fridays with me, Amanya, only on The Conservative Poet. So in today's conversation, I take on a couple of different personalities in a conversation. And this, I'll lay, just to give you the groundwork, this is a couple of black men sitting around having a conversation and they're talking politics. They're talking Joe Biden. They're talking about what they're seeing in the news. They're talking about their family and their situation. And they're talking about, well, which one is good for us? Which one is better for the black people? Which one is better overall? for not just the black people, but for America. And so the conversation is interesting. They touch bases on Joe Biden and his 1994 crime bill setup. They talk about Joe Biden and these open borders and how that affects the black community. They talk about the the kids and their education, how the schools are are woke and they're teaching kids what they're not supposed to be. And again, if but Donald Trump is for school choice and, and Joe Biden is for, for these bad things in the schools and who's really for black people and who's overall better for America, who overall is advocating for America. So it's a great skit. Um, happy to have made it. Um, I'm really, really enjoying these um, skits because again, I just do it straight up raw. A thought comes in and I straight go and, and I just brrrr. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. And I'll see you in there. And before I go, in the comments, tell me how you like it. Give me a yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thumbs up. Whatever you want. Let's have a conversation there about the conversation I'm having there. All right. I'll see y'all there. Hello, fellow patriots. Thank you so much for your support. And again, you can do so by purchasing products from the Orlando Patriots, mugs, t-shirts, all of your patriotic gear. We are in an election year, so we need to show the world that we support our candidates, especially President Trump. So get some gear at theorlandopatriot.com and you'll get 30% off. Thank you for your support. It means the world to me. I'll see you there. So, yeah, man, I don't think I understand what's happening with this here Joe Biden because he's supposed to be for us. We understand that he made a lot of mistakes in the years with that 1994 crime bill and and locking us up for minor crimes. But he's 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 beyond that. He's no longer. A white supremacist. He is our now Lord and Savior. He is our government. He is our leader. He is he's our guy. He is no longer detrimental to our to our people. He's for us. So we've got to talk to the kids. We got to talk to the kids and say, look, kids, here, yeah. We know Joe Biden has made mistakes, but like any old white folks, you got to just let them have a pass. And we've got to let Joe Biden have a pass for the 2024 election. We got to vote him in again. I know he ain't done too much for us. He's, 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 he's really catering to a lot of the illegals. But if we don't do Joe Biden, what are we going to do? We can't vote for Donald Trump. Why would we vote for Donald Trump? He's a, he's a racist too. He's a white supremacist. Ain't he? Yeah, yeah, he is. He is a white supremacist. He talked a lot about those. He said, he said bad things about, about the Indians. He said bad things about the illegals. He said bad things. Wait, you mean the same illegals who's replacing us? Donald Trump was saying bad things about them? Yeah, 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 he was. Well, what kind of things was he saying? Well, he was saying we should close up the border and not let these illegals come in. But wait a minute, ain't that going to benefit us? That's going to be good for us, ain't it? Well, yeah, if there's not a lot of illegals, then... There's more work for us. There's more jobs. There's more work, more income. We can do better in our businesses. Well, you know, I always wanted to start that little landscaping business, but everybody around here is is out of from out of the country and they have hold it down. So I could never get me a little landscaping business. 
So what you're saying, Donald Trump is saying we should keep those illegals out and maybe I could get my landscaping business. And you know, my cousin, he wanted to do some roofing business, but he couldn't do it because they, all they have is those illegals working those uh, roofing businesses. So you saying Donald Trump is saying that maybe we, the small guy, the black guy, could have a shot here in America if we weren't opening up the borders and letting the illegals in? That what you saying? But wait a minute. Joe Biden isn't telling us any of these things. Why isn't Joe Biden doing this for us? He's our Lord and Savior. He's the government. He's our, he's our fierce leader. Why isn't he doing this for us? I don't understand that. If Donald Trump hate us Negroes, if Donald Trump is a white supremacist, then why is he advocating for the black man? Don't make no sense to me, man. I, 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 I it don't make no sense. I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not understanding something right here. If Joe Biden is for us, then why he got that border wide open? Why is millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of millions of illegals coming on in here? taking our jobs, taking our resources. Man, did you see on the news? Out there in Boston, they had illegals taking up the, the recreation center. Them kids can't even go and play because the illegals is taking up their space. You saw that in Chicago. No, that was in Chicago. Oh, no, it happened in Chicago, too. It happened in Chicago, too. They close up the recreation centers. Yeah, man, they close up the recreation centers. They close up the schools. They close up a whole bunch of stuff. To give it to the illegals. My God. In the black community. Man, in the black community. For sure. For sure. In the black community. Joe Biden is, is just not doing this right. But Trump is saying, we need to, to not do this. We need to think about the black people. We need to think about the hood. We need to think about our black people. So why are you white supremacist if he's saying these things that's going to benefit the black people? That's what he's saying, right? Man, he is saying that. I'm I'm kind of, I'm very, very confused about all this. I'm very, very confused about all this. You know, I heard that Donald Trump was doing something with the schools. He he was all in for this here school choice. You know, my grandbaby's up and up right, right now. We, we don't want them going to that public school. That public school ain't teaching them nothing. JoJo and them, they can't even read. So I would love for my kids and my grandkids for them to go to a charter school. Well, you know, the charter school is part of the government, too. But they, all they do is wear fancy uniforms. They're not really doing all that much. They're still teaching them things that they shouldn't be learning in school. They should be learning their alphabets. They should be learning their they, they lessons. But they're not doing that. They they teaching them all kinds of stuff. They talking about sex. They talking about not just regular sex. They talking about homosexual sex to the kids. Yeah, that stuff is just, just, just kind of bad, man. That's bad. Why are we, why are we doing that? That's what Joe Biden for? He for that? In the schools? To teach our kids about that? Yeah. Man, you know, Donald Trump did have a program where he said he supports school choice. You know what that means? School choice? Where you have your choice. Where your kids don't have to go to the public schools. They can go to a Christian school. Where they can ta teach them godly principles. Godly principles? You, you mean they gonna talk about God? They're going to teach them about Jesus? Yeah. Oh, man, that would be good for my kid, my grandkids. They'd love that. Teaching them about Jesus. Not just teach Jesus, but they're going to learn about Jesus. They're going to learn about history. They're going to learn about the real history. They're going to learn about world history, American history. They're going to learn about all of our history. And they teach them all that. And not just the sex stuff. They're not going to just teach them sex stuff. No, they don't teach them sex stuff there. No, they don't teach them about sex stuff. No, they teach them about the Bible. They teach them about God. They teach them about history. They teach them about the alphabet. They teach them about how to do their timetables. They teach them how to read and write, how to do their alphabets. That's what they do. And those here are school choice. And they got vouchers. You just got to apply and get some. And you can take your kid right out of that public school that teaching them all about that sex stuff. And they can go to a good Christian school where they can learn about Jesus and they can learn about all of this stuff. Man, you know, I was a Christian myself. And so I understand the kids need to learn about God. They need to learn about Jesus because do you see what's happening around here? 
Man, do you ever drive on the corner there? You see those boys out there? You see the, the you see those crackheads out there, man. My my, my fellow cousin out there, he, he one of those crackheads out there all day smoking crack. Yeah, he on that government program. They they gave him free needles. Yeah, yeah. Joe Biden gave him free needles, man. You know, for somebody who's supposed to love the black people, who's supposed to care for the black people, Joe Biden sure seemed to be failing us because my God. He wants our kids to go to the schools where they don't teach them nothing. They can't read, they can't write, and teach them about sex, not just regular sex, but homosexual sex too. And then they have them learning all kinds of different things that they're not supposed to be learning. And then, I mean, he's telling us that we should be voting this way and voting that way for them, but yet they're not, they not doing anything for our vote. Again, we try to let Joe Biden have a slide, a, a pass with the with this here um, crime bill, but it's starting to look to me like Joe Biden ain't really for us all at all. I mean, first of all, he's got the illegals coming in. He's got the open doors, illegals pouring in, and they taking our everything, even the kids' schools. They have taken away the schools to put the illegals to live in the schools. Now the kids got to learn online. They got to learn from the, the computer. Ain't that something? They got to learn from the computer while they put the illegals in their school. Man, that's crazy. Right here, right down the street. It's happening right down the street. Man, did you hear about that? I did. I did. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. That's what it is. That's what it is. I don't think Joe Biden's for the black people at all. I don't think he's for us people. I don't think he's for us because if he's letting the illegals in that way, that's going to take over our, our neighborhoods and take away our schools and take away our recreation centers, then Joe Biden can't be for the black people. No, no, he can't be. If he's old for the illegals coming in and taking our jobs, man, I, I can't even get my roofing business going. I can't even get my landscaping. My cousin can't get his, his business going because the illegals got it on lock. How can Biden be for his blacks when he's doing so much for the illegals? Man, did you hear they put those people up in hotels? Up at the entire square in New York City. You know I ain't never been to New York. I would have loved to go to New York. Man, they put them on buses and trains and planes and all that. And they dropping off in there, Times Square. Right there, in the middle of the action in Times Square. They got hotels. They're living up nice in those hotels. And you know what those boys do? Man, they, they sit around and drink all day. They got their Coronas and their Heinekens, and they sit around and drink all day. And did you see them? Th they, did you see them beat up the policeman? They beat up the policeman right there in Manhattan, in Times Square. I can't even believe that. In America, how you, man, man? I got my own problems with the popo. I got issues with the popo. You know, I, you know, I, I, I you know, I gotta run away from the popo. But man, when I see them around the neighborhood, I know that things is looking good. I know that. Those bad boys, those gangsters, I know they're going to they gonna mind their business. So I'm glad to see the police, man, but I got to keep my head down. I got to keep my head down because I don't want to get no trouble now. But did you hear that? They beat up our police, man, up there in, 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 in Times Square in New York City. Those illegals, about 11 of them, kicking them, beating them, punching them. My God. And then they go back to their fancy hotels that we done paid for, the tax man, the tax paying people. Done paid for those hotels. And that's where they do. Man, I tell you, this is some bad business. This is some bad business. Our policemen ain't even protected. They ain't even protected under Joe Biden. How can Joe Biden be for us? He sounds like he ain't even for Americans, not just the blacks. He ain't for the blacks, but he sounds like he ain't even for the Americans. He ain't even for all of us Americans. My God, is Joe Biden for America at all? Man, I don't know. I think you're right. I think you're right. I don't think he, he's for us. I don't think he's for America at all. You know, no matter what color you is. It don't matter what, no, what color you is. I don't think Joe Biden for us at all. Not for America at all. Man, did you hear he doing business with China? His son too. Man, it's a whole lot of stuff. It's a whole lot of stuff, man. I'm telling you right now. I may have to, I may have to vote for that down here, Donald Trump. Because you know what? He sound like he doing a whole lot more for black people than Joe Biden has ever done or is ever going to do. Man, he doing, he sound like he doing a lot for blacks. I mean, I remember doing, doing his, his campaign. I remember doing when he was president, man. 
a lot of this stuff I wasn't seeing, man. I wasn't seeing a whole lot of this stuff, man. I mean, I didn't, I, I wasn't paying ten dollars for eggs, man. You know, but you know, I got my food stamp. You know, I got my food stamp. But still, when I see the prices, I said, my God, man, that's gonna take away from me getting my lobster this month. If I gotta buy ten dollar eggs, that's gonna take away from my lobster money. Yeah. All this under Joe Biden. I wasn't seeing none of that under Trump. Under Trump, man, I could have ribs. I could have lobsters. I could have whatever I want. I could have it because I qualify for the food stamps now. I qualify. I qualify. My family qualified. We qualified. We ain't trying to take no advantage of the system now. We qualified. We got papers to prove we qualified. But yeah, I, I wasn't seeing these kinds of prices. I mean, my God, what is Joe Biden doing? What's he doing in there? What's he doing, man? He, you see how old he look? Man, he old as, I don't know what. How old is he? Man, he about 99. Dang it. 99? You think he 99? Nah, man, he's got to be 100. He got to be about 100. Maybe, maybe, maybe 100. Maybe. Yeah, he sure do look it. He sure do look it. He sound like it too, don't he? Man, I can barely understand nothing he say. I can't understand nothing he say. He be talking and talking. I don't know. No, I don't know what this. How can he be the president? He, I can't understand nothing he say. How he gonna defend us against those big boys out there in China? How he gonna be defend us against those men? You know that Putin, that Vladimir Putin. You know he out there. You know him. Those strong, strong men. Joe Biden can't stand up against those people. Man, I'm telling you right now, we may have, we may gonna have to just vote for Trump. We just gonna may have to just vote for Trump. We just gonna may have to just vote for Trump. Cause, cause this is crazy. This is crazy. Yeah, I think we may have just, just vote for Trump. We're gonna have just we're gonna just vote for Trump. It's gonna just be Trump. We're gonna just we're gonna just it's gonna be Trump. Trump. Yeah, Trump. Yeah, yeah. I say Trump. I say Trump. I say Trump. I say Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump. Donald Trump. <laughs> so I'm so happy that I got to get that done. That was stupid. I was like, I held a straight face the whole time, like. It was it was awesome. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you feel the same way. Again, I love doing these parodies. Um, it's really digging into my personality, and uh, you know, I'm just just letting it loose and just letting it be loosely, loosey loosey, loosey goosey. So, um, thank you guys for taking the time and watching. Share it with a friend if you think they might get a kick out of it. But I was really putting those gems in there, those truth bombs, you know, just to just just to get things moving. Yeah, we're in an election. It's 2024. Things is happening. Things, all kinds of stuff is happening. The news, if you watch it, you, you know what's happening. So um, we got to get our on our game plan. We got to figure out how we're going to get the ground game going. So again, share it. Tell somebody, hey, check her out. Check this out or whatever news you got. Again, don't forget to get yourself moving on the ground. Whatever it is that you want to do you know, volunteering with a campaign, you know, your local GOP or your local whatever you've got, you know, get involved. It don't matter where, just get involved, get yourself educated so you can know what's happening because your voice do really matter because who you vote in really do matter. Look at where we are in this country. Look at, look at the nonsense that we're dealing with in this country right now. So voting really does matter. I know you're going to say they cheat. It's a video for another day, friends. It's a video for another day. I'm going to let it go there. I'm going to let it go there. I'll see y'all in another one. Yeah. You say Trump? I say Trump. Yeah. Trump. Trump, Trump, Trump. Trump 2024. 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 Yeah. I say Trump 2024. Seen that. Heard that. Good.